Welcome to Electron Line. In our next example, we're given initial omega, initial angular velocity of 320 radians per second. The final velocity is zero. The acceleration is a negative two radians per second square, and they want to know how long it took to go from 320 to zero. Well, again, using graphical techniques, we're going to draw a graph where we graph omega versus time. And we start off with initial omega of 320 radians per second. And we go down to zero, like this. And the time elapsed. Well, we don't know what that is. That's the question mark, how much time has elapsed. But it, they do tell us that the acceleration, which is the slope, is equal to minus two radians per second squared. So we're going to use that definition for the slope that we know that the slope is equal to the angle acceleration and the slope by the definition is equal to the rise divided by the run. So we could say that alpha equals the rise divided by the run and alpha is equal to, now the rise is going to be from 320 down to zero, that's a negative rise, so therefore it's a negative 320 radians per second divided by the time, which is t, that's the unknown. And of course, instead of alpha, we can write what alpha is equal to, which is minus two radians per second squared, which means that t is simply equal to the ratio of minus 320 divided by minus two, which is equal to 160, and the answer would be in seconds. So that's how simple it is when we use graphical techniques. We simply realize that alpha represents the slope on the graph. It is a minus two radians per second square, and the slope is the rise divided by the run. In this case, it's a negative rise, and the run is what we're looking for, the time. And that's how it's done.